One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. I do daily vlogs, daily videos. Check out yesterday's and this week's. There's been lots of cool stuff. Tomorrow morning, the cold start. We're going to try and cold start this thing and see what happens. And right now, I'm going to do a video about something totally different. Like I say, daily videos, subscribe, like, comment, all that. We're going to do a video on how to get into a gas tank when you don't have the key. How to break into a gas tank or something. I don't know. This car, you got to check out the cold start tomorrow. Put it on your calendar. I'm going to try and make it for like 9 o'clock uh, Montana time. Did, Richie brought up a good thing too earlier. Do you think how many kids nowadays know where the gas tank door is on this? Not many. Not started and not ran since 2000. Well, here's your problem. You got that. I'm going to turn this off real quick and take a picture. So Rich is here and we're going to be doing it the way it's done. He's got a screwdriver, which is all it takes. And... Here you go. I'll do the filming, he'll do the screwing. This car doesn't have a ton of room, but we just give her some old. Get that screwdriver down in the keyhole. Sometimes it won't even break it loose and you can just turn it off. I'll bet you keep turning that gas thing from right now. Pretty good clutch. I might need to get a little longer screwdriver so I can hit it one time. I mean, uh, put together a little longer screwdriver, but we can, might be able to resist. <laughs> Okay. Once you get it in there, you can sometimes just twist this sucker out. It looked like it was in far enough, but you just need to get that middle cover out of there. And this one, like Rich just said, is not really fun to work on. You ain't got no room. So, even though I just wanted to gung-ho it and try it, He's right, we need a longer screwdriver. Now that is most definitely a longer screwdriver. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got. It should be pretty simple just to get it in there. Now, honestly, you could use a hammer to smack on it. And if you're doing this, the more I think about it, the guy should have safety glasses on. You get a piece of a lock cylinder in your eyeball. It won't be so fun. There's just no lever, no room to get in there. There we go. Now we'll shove the wire one in there. Lily, go over there and give me the hammer by the barrel. Oh wait, he got it maybe. He got the top piece. Alright. Now for cylinder. Over by the trash barrel, burn barrel. Probably just break this one yeah. off in there. Look down! Look around! Hurry up! Sometimes just getting off to the side of it. Get in there and give it to Richie. There we go. Thank you. Now be delicate. <laughs> There's just no room to twist that thing out. Usually this will pop right out if it's on a pickup truck or something. Where you can grab a hold of her. There it goes. It's a big enough screwdriver. And don't hit, miss and hit your classic car. Don't hit your bumper. Almost there. I got some, got some action going right here. Here. I don't want to break that screwdriver off in there, but there's a lot of flex on that hose that feeds the tank so you don't get much impact with that. Probably you're right, huh? Doing things. Or and sorta. And now you can just take it off like that and use that as your cap, which isn't that 
isn't that convenient. And I'm actually betting it should have that cap on there because it's some kind of a breather or something, huh? I would bet. So, I'd probably punch this out and keep it the way it is. But that said, you're in and you're getting gas in your car you're when you're locked out. In like three to five minutes. And like, it is usually faster. You know what? Just taking this off is going to still leave a hole in it. And I'm just used to these things coming out a little bit different. I've never seen one flex so much either. on the top. Usually they're... Okay, well we're just going to leave it like that. That red oh, ring probably it. comes off of there. Look how many pieces that thing has. Think of how many injection molds they have to make for that. That is 27 pieces. Okay, voila. voila, we're in. So, new videos every day. We'll do the coal start tomorrow. Look at all the beautiful cars. I like it up here. I love the old cars. I like a lot of the newer, nicer cars where they weren't as much of a project that I've had been doing with before. But I am where I am up here, and I'm loving it. It's awesome. I actually got to get back down to San Diego. It's getting pretty imminent. Um, I've got big problems down there, and I have to address them this week. So don't know what I'm going to do or how that's going to work out, but it's going to work out. And that's that. So tune in tomorrow about 9 o'clock Montana time for the cold start on that there Cadillac. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Together. All right, so now you get to deal with these old plates. Actually, some of them flip down. I like the ones that flip down. Yep. The ones that flip up, you kind of... Ah, you're probably going to have to have a funnel here. Yeah, we're going to yep. have to get us a funnel. Kind of inconvenient. Very inconvenient.